to ask you guys um, to talk to us a little bit about your artwork. Oh, of course. So uh, I can start by telling you that it's integrated in the pop surrealism movement. And uh, what that is, is taking part of reality and turning reality into a different plane. As if it was a veil in between the material and the immaterial. And the way that I paint uh, and that I found uh, my source of inspiration and that is why I really believe that that veil exists is because I get those visions so it's never something that I sit around and think oh my god what am I gonna paint it's I get these visions and then my job and my work is to put them on canvas so it's a very simple process some people think oh it might be mathematical or proportions or this but it's nothing fancy for me it's a spiritual experience it's like receiving something from a source and then giving life to it so that is mostly what happens with the idea and with the creativity but then of course we're depaired with the technical part of it so you need to know how to paint because you can have a vision and then not be able to put it into the canvas because that's perfectly normal and that can happen so what I always work with is taking that vision and putting it in the, the canvas as accurately as I possibly can. And that involves exploring different techniques, and exploring uh, history a lot, because some people might think, oh, you go to art school and you learn how to paint. That is true. But one great way of learning is uh, looking to past artists. Oh, yes. For example, looking to Leonardo da Vinci, studying his technique. Looking to Botticelli, studying his technique. Yes. And if you get tired of all of that work, because that involves a lot of layers, a lot of detail, and sometimes painting can become painful. And if that happens, you can still take your vision, put it in a canvas, but with a different technique that makes it pleasurable for you. And I can give you an, a, a very extreme example. For We were talking about Leonardo da Vinci and all of that, but now let's talk about Rembrandt. He has this amazing power that is very realistic, but at the same time, if you get close to the, his canvas, it's like he just threw paint at it. So it's not about it being perfect. It's about the idea and how the idea materializes.